This video is sponsored by PUBG Mobile. I've been getting some sick commissions lately. So to promote the new King of the Sea outfit for Poseidon, I was asked by PUBG to make some custom sneakers based on the design. For anyone who doesn't know, PUBG Mobile is the official version of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, which is a free-to-play battle royale game on iOS and Android. You basically land on an island with about 100 other people, and you can scavenge for weapons, vehicles, supplies, and the goal is to take everybody else out. So this is going to be the first time that I'm doing some rubber dip sneakers. I've been wanting to do this for such a long time, but I never really had the opportunity. So I'm starting with some white converse and I just want to change the color a little bit. So I have some blue Angelus paint. Angelus is the brand that I would recommend whenever you want to do any sort of custom on trainers. Um, if you're doing it with a canvas shoe like I am right now, you might want to mix it with a medium just so that it doesn't dry too crispy. But um, what you can also do is just buy a version that has the right color. I just couldn't find the right blue of Converse, so I thought I'd just paint it up myself. With everything painted, I decided I wanted to change the laces a little bit. There's a lot of um, neutral tones in the image that I've drawn, and I kind of wanted to bring that out. This is the Plasti Dip. It's literally a liquid rubber which dries when it's exposed to air. And it takes only about an hour to two hours to dry, but you wanna leave it for the full 24 hours. Because I'm dipping this, there's gonna be a whole bunch of drips. So I just laid out some bubble wrap on my clothing rack to cover the clothes, obviously. And I'm basically gonna hang it from the shoelaces on the rail to make sure that it doesn't move about and that the drips don't fly all over my carpet because <laughs> that's a no-no. Really all it took was one dip. I've seen some people do multiple dips just to get a richer color but the one that I used it seemed to be quite dark enough as well as because it's quite a dark blue. Um, it does kind of have these drips on the end as well but I kind of like the effect to just let you know that what you're using is more of a DIY project. I taped off the edges just so that when I did the bottom part of the rubber, it didn't leak into the top part where I did the painting. And I kind of wanted to leave a strip of white as well. So as you can see, when I peel it off, you can see the original sole and the new sole that we've made with the black plastic dip. And this is super strong, like, once it's completely dry for 24 hours, it will not go anywhere. So I've actually drawn out the design on my iPad and then I've just used some transfer paper to put the design onto canvas material because it's the same sort of material that the shoes made of so it will blend in more easily and stick together. So as some of you may know, as I've been doing my commissions lately, I've been going through some of the polls I've been doing on Instagram just to share the, <laughs> share the insights on what people are going through. So the first question was, I hate waiting. And 71% of people said yes. 29 said no. I agree, even though I'm always late and always keep people waiting, which is such a bad habit. The next one is, if you can't be used, then you're useless. 22% said yes, and 78% said no. This is a very interesting one. I actually fall in with the 22%. Um, and let me explain why. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's good to use people or that it's good to be used, but it does mean that you need to A, understand your underlying value. If someone's using you for something, or if you're using someone, that does mean that they're providing something. And at the end of the day, you know, we all use people for our own ends. It's just that if we use people for positive things, then obviously that's not seen as a negative thing. And also if we're not exploiting people, you know, if it's more of a, um, more of a collaboration <laughs> in the using, I guess. But um, I do kind of agree with that.
The next one is I've been a bad friend lately. So 38% of people said yes and 62% said no. Which once again is very interesting. Um, I don't think I've been a bad friend lately, but I've definitely been an unattentive one. I've had so much work to do and I'm so grateful for the amount of commissions that I've been getting, obviously including this one. Um, but I think I've neglected people a little bit and I would like to reconnect with some of the people that really matter in my life. TikTok has the largest influence in my music. 17% said yes and 83% said no, which is really interesting because I would have thought it was a bit higher, but it might just be that my Instagram audience isn't on TikTok as much because I know for a fact that if I did this poll on TikTok, that <laughs> statistic probably would have reversed. I feel like TikTok's at like the radio now. It's crazy. And pretty much I've just glued this together and that's the end of the costume. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this and thank PUBG for sponsoring this video and this content and giving me a, an excuse to use my plastic dip. Make sure you guys check out the new costume and I'll see you in a bit.